Your future is gonna be as confusing as hell. Why? Because you, like I, am a data junkie. Now, all of us rely on data to influence our behaviors, our opinions, our political affiliations, our social groups, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But the data that we have access to, the data in front of our face has been confusing for a very long time but increasingly, it's not just confusing, it's contradictory, which means that increasingly, you don't know what piece of data to trust. Now, for those of you that know me, I've written 13 books on the future and deep future, and one of my books is the 311 Institute Trends Codex. Now, in there, there are about 30,000 plus statistics on every single topic, every single industry that you can imagine. And researching these statistics, frankly, drives me nuts because trying to find statistics that I believe are authentic, reliable and accurate is absolutely twisting my brain. So this video blog's a long time coming, frankly, um, but I just want to kind of give you a little view basically of behind the author. So at the moment I'm updating, I'm doing a little graphic, infographic on the construction industry. I've just done aerospace, I've done defense, aviation, education, you know, you can transport, you kind of get the idea. And in front of me, I've got my iPad. And looking for market data on the construction industry, this is the first page of Google. So I've typed in global construction stats for 2022, okay? The history should be able to be recorded with some level of accuracy. Now, Business Wire says that in 2022, uh, the construction industry was worth $15 trillion. By 2026, it'll grow at 10%. Uh, and by, it'll be worth about 22 to $23 trillion by 2026. Okay, so Business Wire, okay, you know, they get their information from wherever they get it from. That's the stat number one stat. Now, when we have a look at Statista, so this is the number two uh, sort of profile basically on Google search. Um, it says that by 2030, the global construction industry will reach $14 trillion. I'm sorry, but wasn't it already 13.5 in 2022? So it's shrinking, I don't think so. Um, when we have a look at the third stat, we've got the construction industry is going to grow by 3.7%. Uh, when we have a look at tool sense which is number four ranking on google uh, the global construction industry size reached 8.2 trillion in 2022 i mean what is it 13 trillion 14 trillion by 2029 it's projected to reach 17 trillion well that's five trillion off the other figure um, when we have a look at the business research company um, the market basically was worth 14.5 trillion in 2022 and in 2023 will be worth 15 trillion, growing at a rate of 6.6%. When we have a look at Global Newswire, um, the industry in 2022, a little bit of consensus may be forming, was about 14 trillion, but it's going to grow at a compound rate of 7.3% to 2030. Uh, now, when we have a look at the number sort of seven stat, which is expert market research, uh, in 2022, the construction industry was worth 12 trillion. Uh, but when we have a look at Oxford economics, now you, the word Oxford sort of stands out to me. Um, in 2022, the global construction industry was worth 9.7 trillion. And in 2037, it'll be worth 13.9 trillion. And there's a lesson for all of you in here, and I'm gonna to come to that in a bit. Um, when we have a look at Deloitte, you know, so Deloitte says that uh, the global construction industry is gonna grow at 3.6%. Uh, when we have a look at another stat from Deloitte, it's going to grow by 8%. I mean, these are literally next to one another. I mean, come on, Deloitte. Um, when we have a look at PR Newswire, the market is $19 trillion. You're growing at 9%. When we have a look at Market Watch, the global construction industry is valued at $11 trillion. When we look at Research and Markets, which again, I mean, I'm losing track of where I am on Google now, but this has got to be like number 10 ranking. Uh, the 2022 market is 12.4. Um, and then basically when we've actually look at uh, Technavio, uh, apparently the global construction industry is going to be growing by 1.1 trillion between 2022 to 2027, um, but it doesn't really give any stats. You know, 
it's this is a this is the problem that anyone who relies on data has okay right so now imagine this you rely on data to make your business decisions you rely on data to make your personal decisions whether it's what the best mortgage to take out whether it's the future of inflation cost of living etc etc you're increasingly relying on artificial intelligence that is sucking in all of this data and the artificial intelligence spits out one number it says matt the global construction industry in 2022 was valued at 32 trillion dollars do i believe that number without being able to query these systems i have no idea where they're getting their data from uh, by 2030, it's estimated that 10% of all of the data on the internet is going to be created by generative artificial intelligence. You know, when we have a look at research, we have primary research from companies like IDC, Forrester, Gartner, those kinds of guys, World Health Organization, World Bank. I look at all that kind of data as well. IMF, United Nations. Then we have secondary research data that simply takes all of that, aggregates it together and kind of comes up with a finger in the air and says, this is what we think the answer to that particular statistical question was. Um, now, as I say, if you rely on data in any way, shape or form, you're stuffed. Now, one of the things that I used to talk about when I was working at IBM is the first thing that you need to do when you are running a, an enterprise business that relies on data to identify patterns, trends, et cetera, et cetera, whether it's in supply chains, whether it's workforce trends, market trends, et cetera, et cetera, is get your data in order. Make sure that your data is validated, make sure it's not duplicated, make sure that the integrity of that data is where it needs to be. What do you rely on? How do you ensure that the data that you have is accurate what are the processes that you put in place? I have processes, which is why every single page in my trends codex that contains any kind of statistics is now generally taking me half a day to produce because I produce it the old fashioned way with a human, not with an AI. Now I have actually got artificial intelligence to write a couple of pages for the trends codex. And frankly, I mean, the one that it wrote on democracy was absolutely laughable because it told me that there are about 92 democracies. And then in the next line, this was chat GPT, the next line, it said there are actually something like 74. And these are full democracies and partial democracies. Chat GPT couldn't even get the numbers correct for the same question that I asked it. So do you rely on my trends codex, for example, basically for your insights? Or do you rely on artificial intelligence? Or do you rely on the Google interweb? I could spin these stats any way that I want, and that is the problem. We increasingly have a polarized, fragmented and fractured society because I can spin any number that I want in any way that I want, but the fact of the matter is those numbers could be junk in the first place, which then kind of leads us into this sort of situation of fake news. Is this all fake news, fake data, or is it the real deal? You don't know, and that is what is going to be one of humanity's biggest issues going forward. So that's my little video blog for today. I know basically it's a nine minute thing because I'm staring at the counter. That's it. But if you rely on data, think about where you are getting that data from. Make sure it is accurate, authenticated. Use institutions, world recognized inst institutions for your data sets, understand their methodologies. And then use your own human intuition to figure out whether or not it is the data that you need and the data that you are going to rely on for the decisions that you're going to make. Now I'm pushing the button. Bye-bye.